Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Feel Good Factor. I'm Susmita Viganasaurus and I'm so glad you could join me here today. Boundaries and clarity. Two of my very favorite topics. <laughs> I speak about them often in my classes and courses on the podcast on my blog on my instagram posts and more than anything in my coaching sessions i catch people before they allow their boundaries to become loose or if they don't have boundaries and i catch people in case they haven't set very clear you know terms and stuff when dealing with others and i tell them no these are the boundaries you need to place for sure these are the points on which you need to have very good clarity before dealing with somebody else so i've been good with teaching people about this and most of the time for my own self i'm a boundaries boss particularly if i'm working with people i don't even know or maybe not too well I'm very good with setting boundaries and having clarity right from the get go. But when it comes to dealing with people who are kind of close, I know them a little, you know, like like a friend or an acquaintance, I slip up. Today I slipped up. <laughs> I went into a business meeting and the point of discussion was something else entirely but because i have knowledge in a certain other area the people in the meeting started asking me questions about this other area and normally i would charge for something like this as a separate coaching session but 3 hours i just gave and gave and gave shared and shared and shared whatever the questions they asked i answered them even though it was completely off topic to our meeting it was not completely it was like tangential so basically the meeting was related to food but they had all these questions about running a vegan business <laughs> and i just answered the questions now see the people were happy of course they you know they had picked my brain um mine and my partner's brain my business partner's brain and we had shared and i yeah you know at least my partner had the sense to not talk too much but i was like you know somebody is asking me questions on a topic that i know about i like to talk about it i like to share on them to do really well but it didn't come to my head you know until way later into the meeting that oh, hey wait you know <laughs> why am i giving away all this information uh, in it, it was like a one on one consultation for 3 hours straight and i was just giving it so much uh, of it without even knowing whether this business meeting for the other topic is going to actually lead to something or not and at the uh, end of it uh, they were thankful you know they said yeah we got a lot out of this thanks for answering our questions blah blah, blah all those things and it was nice and they left but i was feeling so drained before i continue i wanted to ask you to join my free newsletter the feel good tribe If you enjoyed the episode so far or if you liked any of the episodes on my podcast then you're going to totally like my newsletter. I send it once or twice a month. You can find out more about it on my website. Go to veganosaurus.com/newsletter. The link is in the show notes and sign up. Once you've signed up, you'll get a confirmation email. You have to hit confirm, then you'll get subscribed, then you'll get a welcome email. Hit reply to that welcome email and tell me all about yourself. I'm waiting to hear from you. All right, continuing now. I mean, I just offer one hour consultations usually, even for the paid one to one uh, consultations, because it takes a lot of energy. it's not like writing a blog post or uh, you know insta or a podcast episode recording or something because that's different you think you do it on your own time and even if that takes hours to hours three hours it's different 
but when you're giving a consultation there's an energy exchange there and there's a conversation you're asking questions you're listening and then you're tailoring things and then you're guiding them you know uh, people have certain ideas set into their minds and you have to share that okay this is right this is the wrong way please do this don't do that so a consultation session is quite draining in itself even if it's a 1 hour session uh, but here i was today giving a 3 hour session <laughs> without even uh, setting any terms in advance saying okay you know what these would be my consultation charges and without even knowing whether this a uh, whole business thing that we discussed is going to lead somewhere or not to begin with uh, so at the end of it you know i was tired enough that i really couldn't do anything else for the rest of the day so it wasn't just the 3 hours it was the rest of my day it was my whole day that kind of went into this and all this because i didn't have the sense to you know create boundaries and clarity right from the get go that's when it occurred to me that we all need a coach a coach or a mentor a guide whatever you'd like to call it somebody who's outside of a situation with whom we can discuss these things because always when you're inside a situation it's not as clear you get into something and then you know you kind of go with what where it takes you but when you aren't attached you know when it isn't your friend or your acquaintance you're talking to is just two random it's the person you're coaching and the other person who they'll be dealing with it's very easy to see where things could go you know get mixed up where the boundaries could get crossed where the clarity could have issues and then it's very easy to guide them and say you know what watch out for this watch out for that make sure of this and today i felt like you know what i needed someone like that i needed a coach like i would be for others during our coaching sessions i would need a, i needed a coach to have told me what to do before i went into this meeting to kind of uh, see in advance in what ways i could have set my boundaries and been more clear and uh, you know of, of course the people who are asking me all these questions um it's not like they were trying to take advantage or anything like that you know and i'm i'm glad i helped them and i hope it helps them but i always believe that the value of a guidance advice everything is much better more powerful much stronger when it is paid for a paid session when they when somebody is paying for that advice uh, there is a lot more power to it there is a good solid energy exchange right and for that i needed somebody to tell me so i was like kicking myself afterwards i'm like oh my whole day went into this i didn't have the sense to have the boundaries i should have and um, then of course you know uh, i kind of uh, meditated a bit thought things over and all that and uh, certain ideas came to my mind on how to remedy this situation at this point of time Uh, but it also occurred to me that i shouldn't even have been in this situation at all in the first place and that's when i'm like podcast episode <laughs> see i should have re- you know i should have in fact released the podcast episode much earlier today but i'm doing it now because of all this you know because i was so tired by the time i got home so uh, but i'm like yeah the podcast episode should be about how important it is for all of us to have a guide or a coach or a mentor um or even like a mastermind group to kind of exchange ideas with so that we always have someone outside of our situation um to guide us to to kind of hold up the mirror and reflect things to us if nothing else um yeah i mean you know if we are able to find a coach who is more experienced than us then nothing like it wonderful but often it doesn't even have to be someone more experienced than us it could be someone with the same level of experience as us but somebody who is of course specialized in your kind of a field right um and to be to be able to tell us what to do uh, so yeah so that's it that today i wanted to tell all of you um, before getting into any situation but particularly work related situation it's worth it pay someone consult with them and get their uh, guidance you know 
and uh, always know that if you are uh, say um, a senior in in your workspace uh, or if you are a leader in your uh, family you know somebody that others depend on and come to for uh, for advice for support for guidance all these things uh, just remember that that doesn't make you immune just because you are able to help people very well give great advice that doesn't make you immune to uh, making the kind of uh, mistakes or slipping up uh, and doing the exact thing that you tell others not to do <laughs> um so yeah find somebody find somebody find a guide uh, whether it's somebody you're paying or uh, whether it's a mentor somebody uh, but yes particularly if it's somebody you are able to pay and take sessions with um then that would be even better because then you know there's a lot more accountability and value on both ends right and it's serving both energy wise uh, it's it's good for everybody everybody involved the the coach or the guide or the person who's taking that advice it's helping everyone very well and it's a good exchange of energy if you pay somebody and take that advice and guidance you know but uh, definitely look up to someone and talk to somebody uh, outside of your situation before uh, going into any you know particularly business related uh, meetings contracts and things like that important ones all right uh, that's it for today you take care and i'll talk to you again next week thank you so much for listening to this episode of the feel good factor i'm susmita veganosaurus and i'm looking forward to talking to you again very soon bye